Hey everyone, coming at you from Aransas Pass, which is basically Corpus Christi, Texas, guys, outside. Butter churn, butter churn. This is actually supposed to be the best buffet, the best rated buffet in kind of this southern south Texas area, Corpus Christi area. It has a 4.6 from over 4,000 reviews as of right now. So anyway, we're gonna go in and have some fun. It is homestyle country cooking, that's what they advertise. Don't know what it's gonna be like, a lot of fun. They have specials today, including enchiladas, fried chicken, all the above. Let's get some food. All right, so for our items, we have tomatoes, we have potatoes, we have green beans, we have corn, we have uh, fried chicken, we have some Mexican rice, we have some carne asada, apparently, that's what that is, some country gravies. I see some more fried chicken, I see some catfish. I like catfish, it is bone-in, interesting enough. Enchiladas, uh, we have some sirloin steak, we have carrots, peas, whole bunch of different cooked vegetables some uh, like baked chicken. Uh, this is uh, beans, almost looks like a menudo. Um, some rancher style items, some spaghetti, some looks like maybe chili, some fresh made buns. Then, excuse me, then we have this salad bar, which has a good variety. I'm definitely excited about that. I do love me some good vegetables. Love me some salads. We have some hot desserts, including some cobblers, bread puddings. We have some different salads. And then here we have what is a mix of desserts and more prepared salads. We also have an ice cream machine and some chili, some soup, some cream of broccoli. And I think that's it. It is definitely a big dining hall. It is quite packed here tonight. So let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so made it on in. Guys, I gotta say, first impressions, I'm actually thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Um, they got a lot of good variety of items. Um, they actually have a chicken fried steak. That's what I missed on the, uh, I mislabeled it the first time. But they have chicken fried steak. They have all kinds of southern items. Like I said, real style of country cooking. Everything's coming out fresh. It is about uh, 7.30, almost 8 o'clock on a Saturday. So it is busy period. Um, so it should be fresh. But I'm super impressed with that salad bar. So they got a whole bunch of pickles. Um, they got broccoli salads. They got carrot salads. I love all those things. Um, they got beets, they had a whole bunch of tomatoes, they had a pea salad actually. Shout out my friend Billy in uh, Louisiana, he always talked about his pea salad. I never tried it before. So let's try a pea salad. Um, interesting. Nonetheless, carrot salad. Mm. Ooh, nice flavor on that. Broccoli salad. Tastes like I'd expect. So you got all these veggies. Oh, they also have some, uh, not only cherry tomatoes, but some really nice, like, spicy peppers. Mm. Ooh. Delicious. It's very nice and sweet and spicy. See, I got all this veggie stuff here. They also have some beets. A lot of clove in that. Trying these pickles. Bread and butter. Mm. Ooh, that's a delicious pickle. But, you guys didn't want to come to watch me just eat vegetables, I don't think. Also some of their green beans here. There's a real bacon in that green bean. They have three varieties of hot sauce, so shout out to that. They have Cholula, a um, Cajun chef of Louisiana, and a Tabasco. And then I got some fried chicken. Got some bone-in fried catfish and a chicken fried steak. So, all, the, all of them came out pretty reasonable. Like I saw them bring them out. So, uh, I'll try it. Um, I'll start with the catfish, give it a bite. Skin on. So you really get a lot of that mm, a little more catfishy flavor, that makes sense. It does taste good. It's definitely a little richer. But it's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Try this chicken fried steak. Do you like me a good chicken fried steak? Not a bad flavor on it. The, um, the breading's a little, could be a little crisper. Not bad. Um, try this fried chicken. It's a very light flavor on it. 
I think I'm gonna deck out some ketchup and hot sauce. I'm just gonna elevate it. I'm all about that ketchup and hot sauce mix. But it's moist, it is cooked well. Not overly crispy. Um, a little milder in flavor, but not bad. Let's see what else they have. Then you can watch me eat this salad. All right, so second round. Um, I got a couple different items that I normally wouldn't get. They do have some steaks up there. I got a steak, it's supposed to be cooked medium rare. I got a baked chicken because they just put it out fresh. I got some more of the green beans. Um, I got some uh, grilled uh, or like fried onions and mushrooms for the steak. And I got a little more broccoli salad. But then what I'm so impressed with, literally, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with their salad bar. So I got so much, many me pickles. I got beets. I got spicy uh, pickled carrots. I got so many more of the peppers, pico de gallo. I'm not gonna lie. I was probably like most inquisitive, like what's a salad bar gonna be like? But it, it's exceptional. Definitely mind blowing so far. But let's try these hot items first. You know, the steak's not bad. It is cooked about medium how it's supposed to be. But not horrible. Those onions and mushrooms, that's a good addition. Good bite. That combo. The combination is where it's at. Those are actually really, really good. Pretty good for buffet steak. What I do really like about these green beans too, definitely a smoky, like pork hock ham flavor. Not bad. Broccoli salad. What I expected. Let's try this baked chicken. Just like it said. They just put it out so it's nice and hot. Very, very, very light flavor. So, I'm not the biggest skin person. So I'm not gonna eat the skin. There's not much flavor on it to add much, you know. Not bad. Plus an excuse to eat hot sauce. I do love this hot sauce. Now back to our vegetable programming. Yeah, seriously impressive with the salad bar though. Great variety. Oh, items which are, I would call like, not super, super common. Or a little bit. Lots of pickled items. Let me know if you like pickles down below. I like them. Good zesty pickle. I also offer the cocktail sauce is like a low calorie dressing. It tastes really good here. I would be surprised. Well. Maybe they don't make it, I don't know about it. There's a good bite to it. Of course I got a big huge salad, admittingly I don't think I got any pickled items on this one. I've had enough pickled items. Delicious, but a lot. I also got some more like the coleslaw, didn't try this yet, carrot salad, all whatever. Um, then I have on this new items, I got an enchilada. They had carne asada earlier, but they're all out. I got another um, 
chicken, I'll give it a go. I got another catfish, I'll give it a go. And then I got another steak with the onions and mushrooms. So what was the key last time for that steak was to salt it. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Let me salt this enchilada too. Don't know what's in the enchiladas. I know definitely cheese. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, I think it's just cheese actually. Yeah, it's a uh, cheese on cheese enchilada. And this is very, it's actually really good tasting. I'm not the biggest cheese person. It's not my favorite. If there's meat in it, I would definitely uh, crank that out. But very good red sauce, really nice enchilada. Getting this steak again. Oh yeah, look, that one actually has some nice red to it. Give this with the uh, mushrooms and onions. Yeah. Mm. That was a good bite. Dress catfish. It's a nice thick piece. Like I said, none of mine, uh, although they do say it is bone in, none of mine had bones so far. But I think it's like a potential there could be bones. You know what I mean? So I think it's more like a warning. Pretty good. I mean, the hot sauce there was brought in a lot of the flavor. This fried chicken's hot, though. Okay. I'm glad I gave this a second go. This is really nice. There's a really nice flavor on this one. This tastes good. Night and day difference. Much better. You know, the first one, I, uh, I wasn't impressed with. But the second piece, this is a lot better. Very delicious. I have this big, huge salad. I'm going to try this coleslaw. Very nice coleslaw. Nice and rich, but not just like pure mayo. Good bit of acidity. My carrot salad too. Nice sweetness. And like almost like warm winter spicing. And so now actually, actually a fellow patron's giving me food. A lady came and brought me a plate of, of hominy. She said, I gotta try it. So I mean, she brought it to me, I'll give it a shot. So how many is um, like corn? It is a uh, like a Mexican dish. This is nice. It's very soft. There's definitely some like cheese in there. Tomatoes. A little bit of ham. Not bad. I got a salad again. Broccoli salad. Lots more uh, pico, tomatoes, green peppers. I did get some. They have a warm sauerkraut here. I've never seen that before. So it's hot with pork in it. Mm. Very good. Very acidic. Very rich. Thank you. And I got some of their cooked carrots as well. Which are definitely buttery and sweet. Lots of home, but definitely some country cooking. But you guys are not familiar with country cooking means. There's a sign over there, which is happiness is homemade with love and butter. Home cooking, or country cooking, basically means like, you're the opposite of calorie conscious. You want calories. You no, know, it's really good. Nice and rich. I like the uh, broccoli salad as well. I also got a little more steak, some onions, some mushrooms. A little small piece of fried chicken. We know the drill. It's not as good as the last piece. All right, so cool, a few cool things. 
So first we got into a little bit of desserts. There's a couple desserts here. I'll tell you all about those in a sec. Um, I got another salad with all the pretty much things I've had. The gentleman actually said, he said, hey, if you have, want a steak cooked a certain way, because that up in a bin, let me know. So I asked for a rare one. This is apparently a rare steak. Looks pretty cool. I accidentally ended up with a uh, basically a big plate of catfish. And I got some collard greens or spinach greens. So I'll give them a shot. Spinach greens. Not bad. Rich. I'm going to salt that a little bit. But, let's see how the steak is. Yeah, that's what I asked for rare. That's definitely rare. Now, if I would have known that all along. I've been doing that the whole time. Fresh. That was good. Probably the most impressive I've had so far. We'll try this catfish real quick because they did just put it out. Big, 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 big pieces. Pretty oily to be honest with you. Yeah, pretty oily and quite a bit of skin. Not the best. Maybe I'll come back to that. What I will try for you on camera is the dessert. We have first a pistachio pudding. Mm, very nice. Jelly bits, marshmallows in it. We have a cherry pudding. Same thing. We have a banana pudding. It tastes like it came out of a box, to be honest, but pretty good. They got real bananas, no wafers in it. An Oreo pudding. That's pretty dang good. It's incredibly fluffy. It's almost like the texture of whipped cream. And then they have a sugar-free vanilla pudding, which is also kind of like the texture of like a whipped dessert. Mm. Definitely a different taste. It's almost like it's just a cool it. Not bad. I'd be curious to all the calories on that. But anyway, I'm going to deck this and I don't know if we're going to get much else. They don't have any fruits, unfortunately, but they have had a, they have had a nice spread of items. So. I'll eat this. See what else we get into. First off, if anybody knows what kind of pepper this is, comment down below. I really like them. Second, we had a compliment. The lady says, I'm impressed because you ate everything that you actually took. A lot of places, a lot of buffets, people waste a lot of food. So, I'm team no food waste. I just eat it. Hey everyone, so I think that's all I'm really going to have for tonight. Um, I was just eating casually today, not trying to crush the buffet. This is kind of my off day. I haven't eaten anything else today. This is my one meal for the day, um, which I don't always do, just happen to be doing today. Had a lot of fun, a productive day working at the beach a little bit, and uh, yeah, all that stuff. So anyway, overall, really cool. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Um, if I have more words, I'll think about them and share them. But definitely impressed with the salad bar. They do make apparently about 90% of the stuff here. That's what the uh, ladies told me. Um, very, very, very friendly staff. Very friendly patrons. Um, yeah, I got no complaints. I think my favorite meats uh, was actually definitely the steak, surprisingly. I don't think it's, I've ever had a favorite item at a buffet being the steak. Um, the fried chicken ranged from not bad to like one piece being really good. Um, the catfish was okay for myself. It was pretty good. Um, kind of a little bit of variation. Uh, baked chicken was good. And chicken rice steak was... But yeah, the vegetables were great. Really enjoyed the salad bar. I love all the pickle items. Um, desserts really nice as well. I love all the different puddings. Um, I wish I knew uh, how many calories are in that sugar-free vanilla one because I get some more, but it's crazy how whipped it is. It's like almost eating like a uh, Cool Whip, like, but like not... Not Cool Whip, but it's like mixed between pudding and Cool Whip, if that makes sense. So, anyway, I think that's it. Um, if anything, maybe I'll go get some fruits somewhere. I really like my fruits, guys. I love my fruits and vegetables, but this was great. Uh, cost is $17. So, 
17. And uh, yeah, guys, so overall, if you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend stopping by. This is one of two locations, and uh, that's about that, guys. So, of course, the next time, happy on the hungry, happy eating. Until next time, have a lovely day. Driving from Corpus Christi to Austin, Texas, guys, I just saw a cow on the road. I thought you needed to know that. And then this is what it looks like. It's uh, lots of uh, green and fields and cows and, I mean, we almost technically hit one. Inter I mean, a roadkill, if that's a roadkill I would take with me. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.